Hey, how's it going everybody? So, in today's video I thought I'd share my little hobby toolbox. So, this is where I keep all my hobby and modeling supplies. Not my paints and brushes and stuff like that, but just things for like assembly, uh, drilling holes in gun barrels or pinning, doing bases, stuff like that. And this is basically just a tackle box for fishing. They make the same kind of thing for uh, like art supplies at art stores, but I find this is cheaper. This is only like $15. And I really like that, that uh, I can have all my uh, hobby tools in one location and it's, like, it's mobile, I can move it around. I don't have to keep it stuck on my, on my desk because I find that I don't use these tools all that often. I'm, most, I'm mostly painting most of the time, so when I'm done using these tools, then I can just get out of the way as opposed to having it be like a permanent fixture with drawers and stuff like that on my desk. Okay, let's open inside. So it opens like uh, this, and I find this is really convenient. It just, you can get to everything you need to without opening a bunch of little drawers, uh, opening up little ba little bags. I used to put all this stuff in like little individual bags, like I'd have a bag for my files a bag for my pin vise, but this just keeps it all organized in one space. It's super convenient. And what I keep in this box is, here's my mounting putty. I use this for, anytime I want to a test fit something like plastic models before I glue them, I use this. It's really useful just to mount models to handles or anytime you want like a temporary fit or join before you glue something. This is like a go-to thing. This is like $5 at a grocery store or uh, any kind of craft store, I'm sure we'll probably have it. Um, I have clay shapers. Uh, sometimes they're called clay shapers. Sometimes they're called paint shapers. Um, but they're just like these little silicone brushes that have these little rubbery silicone kind of wedge shapes at the end. So you can kind of push uh, things around. I use this for green stuff, sculpting. And kind of push stuff around it's pretty nice i have kind of these i think they're sculpting tools for green stuff again uh made out of metal so they're a lot firmer uh, i don't know if i've used this set yet but uh because i don't sculpt with green stuff too often but uh, i'm sure these will be nice i have some mounting I think it's called mounting tape. This is super useful for priming. You just throw this on like a ruler or a paint stirring stick and then a model stick really well to this. And then I have a little uh, fan brush. This is really great for just uh, removing debris from like a plastic model before you go to prime it because sometimes when you assemble it and file it and trim the mold lines, there's little plastic debris stuck on the plastic and I just use this and just wipe it away really quick. It's really useful. I have uh, tweezers. These are super useful for just uh, any kind of converting or really kind of delicate converting. I suppose there's just different sizes of tweezers. Uh, this is kind of a small one. I use this for really small like anytime I need to like place something really delicately or really small for like a conversion or like rocks on a base or decals, I use something like this. This is super useful. And I have two X-Acto blades. I have a really old GW one and just one I got for like $3 at a hobby store. I use these for trimming the mold lines. Uh, this one is blunt, so I can use this on uh, for mold lines. I can use the back of the knife, uh, the business end of the knife, and it's really blunt so it shouldn't carve into anything. This one is sharp, so I can use this for chopping things. Uh, and here is my uh, a blade dispenser. Well, I've already used all the blades in this one, but this has a nice kind of depository for used blades. So if you uh, have like a bulb, a dull blade you don't use anymore, rather than just throwing it away and potentially sticking your hand in blades, when if you ever need to like stick your hand in the trash, just stick it in here. It keeps everything safe for everybody. So keep it around. And then I just uh, have extra blades. I think there's a, these are size 11 exacto. These should work for either of these handles. 
I think it's kind of insane that GW's new blade is $35 when, you know, this is like $3. It'll do the same thing. Uh, but you can probably get it for like a dollar. So that's that. And I have my, I think it's a, called a pin vise for drilling uh, barrels and the holes of little guns or just pinning things to bases or any kind of hole drilling. Uh, this is nice. It has, uh, I think, two chucks in here and it, this unscrews and you can store this the other chuck in here. I have different sizes for the drill bits. Super useful. I have different drill bits for different things. And I have some some tacks just for little pilot holes in, in little gun barrels so that I can uh, make sure I'm drilling in the right spot. Oh, and here I have some more clay shapers, smaller ones. Uh, this is where I keep my static flock for bases. I have two clippers. These are both pretty cheap, probably like $8 each. They're probably not, they're really not the best, but they do the job. And you know, when you're clipping stuff, you just need to get it off the sprue. And, and then you, I find you almost always have to clean up the little burr afterwards anyway. So I don't worry about it too much. Um, one thing with these though, I would, I would recommend not cutting anything like a paper clip or anything too kind of durable, like a paper clip or any kind of metal with these. These are kind of delicate. So if you cut stuff like paper clips in these, it'll it'll leave little uh yeah it'll damage the blade like in this one. And here is where I keep all my glues, my PVA glue. <laughs> this is eight dollars. What was I thinking? Um, here is the uh, Gorilla Glue, Super Glue Gel glue with the the brush on and the nozzle I have crazy glue tamiya sanding pads uh, i have these uh you know any any kind of sandpaper i use I, I find it just i don't like the finish it gives i find it leaves kind of a texture i don't like so for years i've just been using this uh these little metal files these do pretty much everything i need to i have one with kind of a curved surface and then one which is kind of a triangular profile with for a flat surface i have these uh these fancier ones from the army painter but I, I don't like these either they just they leave a weird texture so these like the cheapest ones were like are like the best ones for me so and then i have uh some rocks i got it like a michaels or something i've got green stuff from the army painter i have uh clump foliage for bases i have some paint just so if I'm pinning something, I can stick the the end of a paper clip in some paint and you know rub push it against where I want to pin it so I know where to drill the hole. And then I have I have some plastic glue in a separate location just because I find that it smells a little weird, so I keep it separate. But yeah, with these. Uh, tools you don't even need all this i think you mainly just need the knife uh, the nippers cutters and the files and the glue and you're pretty much good to go for most things oh i also have uh this sand i keep in here i was using it recently so it's not in here um yeah this is just really cheap sand i got out of michael's like years ago and i've used it for like probably like over you know several years and hundreds of models and I've only used basically this much yeah this is my hobby toolbox uh, this is probably more than most people would need but this is stuff I've collected over the years and I think this little tackle box is great just to keep it all in one place have it mobile if I don't need it I can just stick it in a corner somewhere and free up my uh, my desk so uh, I hope you found this useful. Let me let me know what you guys think below. Thank you for watching. If you like my content, please like and subscribe. Have a great day. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.